Well, hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to another Sonorama Showcase. Uh, while I've been away, guys, uh, Red Cooper has been doing the final updates for Sonorama for Minecraft 1.16.5. Uh, I started over here just to show you the blocks. We're going to go to our new world because I spawned in previous videos, I spawned in a lot of these beautiful creatures. So we're going to go back at, to the new world and we're going to show you the new creatures. And then hopefully I can show you all the creatures in one video. I may miss some variants. Now all the creatures are done in Minecraft style. They've all got their own characteristics which have been listed on uh, the uh, Curse Forge page. Uh, things like he's just added the opossum. If you hit the opossums, uh, they play dead, to pretend to be dead. The whole point of this mod is to enhance the deserts, which is a long time, been a long time coming. The latest updates were birds and etc. And in this last version, which is now 1.2, it was supposed to be version 1, but it's now version 1.2 added a few more things he just keeps adding stuff to it uh, it's got a new bird that he's made uh, especially for me which i'm very very happy about because i mentioned it in previous videos uh, there are a load of plants and blocks and there's a new plant for this one uh, and uh, you can play around also uh, beaver dams uh, there's beavers the beaver dams come into the world although i've not been able to find one uh, he has changed the spawn rates in the latest version you will need to go to the cursed forge page to look at all the updates but uh, so without further ado guys we're going to show you the new creatures that have been added to the 1.2 version uh, and then we'll quickly run through all the other creatures afterwards just in case you miss my previous showcases although you won't be able to see all the variants uh, and when we look in here, these are the normal spawn eggs and blocks. These are all the latest ones down here. That's the new plant, the white sage. In fact, let's just get that out now and do the white sage now and put it with the other plants. Where's my plants? Here's my plants. So white sage, it looks a bit like this one here, but it isn't. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't go in. It's on the, it's on the grass. There we go. White sage. Uh, you will notice as you go through the world and desert. Oh. Uh, they all spawn naturally and also in the uh, oh this biome over here the savannah biome so you'll get naturally new trees and we'll show that in the new world because this was generated pre 1.2 right i do apologize to my voice uh, i've come back from holiday and caught something on the plane but there we go it's not covid there we go. Right, let's get cracking. So already, guys, the new creatures are spawning into the new world here. This is the Proghorn. Uh, details of all the mods I've got installed and the shaders are in the description. I use the, uh, the, the mod to be able to tell me what they are. But these are definitely Proghorns because you can see that. Right, so we'll start with the birds. And I want to say a big thank you for this one. I have mentioned the fact that we have... Uh, goldfinches in the UK several times on the videos and we look forward to the summer when they come back to our garden so this has been made I know thank you Red Cooper for me it's a little goldfinch and I'm so happy and you noticed the little little birds all sort of fly around trees and stuff as they do in Minecraft Oh, there's another bird over there. You'll find them on different trees in different areas as you go around the world. But that is a gorgeous little goldfinch. And thank you very much. Uh, right, a long-nosed bat. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, this is good. Look at this. Look at that. long nose. Oh, it's in there. Where's it gone? There's the long-nosed bats, guys. Wow. Oh, I like the way they fly. Do fly very nice. Uh, a whore hairy, hoary nose bats. Let's have a look at these ones. I love the way it's got the wings like very super thin. Excellent. We got loads of bats, guys. What we got? I think now all these creatures. It's also adjusted the spawn rates and these creatures spawn in different areas, as I say, but they're predominantly the deserts, savannah and the uh, the uh, the grasslands. 
Uh, that's where most things spawn. As you can see, there's like the prog horns are over there again. Right, a vulture, one of my favorite desert creatures. I have mentioned this. This will be the first time. Let's have a look at the vulture. Oh, there's different ones. Now, what you'll find, guys, is... Uh, yeah, there's two different ones. What you'll find is some of the creatures have different ones. And as I showed before, they actually have separate spawn eggs like the pupfishes, the opossum mice, the coyotes, the pullfish have separate spawn eggs for the different colours. Oh, oh, it's the bird chasing them. Oh, look, they do that vulture. What would be really cool is if they like suddenly like started flying around above you. Oh look, that one's there. Oh look, it's looking as well. Imagine if they like. Imagine if they all like flew up and then just like stayed there until an animal. He he he! And then the animal comes and they dive bomb it. That'd be pretty cool. Right, a Californian condor. Let's have a look at these. Oh look, there's little uh, chinchillas over. Ooh, these are nice. Californian condors. Wow. I love the way the heads move. They fly as well. Don't know why they're sort of hurting when they take off. Wow. I wanted to go and see this over here. Look, these little things. <laughs> these are so cute. The grey mouse opossums. They are so cute. These blocks I've explained in the previous video. They are part of the, the mod to use and make some decorative blocks out when you uh, mine them. Very cool. And you'll see they're everywhere when you go up in the sky. Right, so uh, <clears throat> I found these two eggs with the other new ones. And I can't remember whether we showcased the magpies, but this may be a new magpie. So I just wanted to see if it was. There are different magpies. Oh, this is just the magpie mate. Rather than have them separate, this is the magpie spawn egg. I do like the way they just float around and fly. <laughs> oh, that one doesn't like that. So they're much more pretty than our magpies, I must admit. We got plain magpies. I like the green ones. Right, and then there was this one called a pine nut parrot. So again, I'm not sure if I showcased this before, but we will put it in. There's a number of new parrots in the game, uh, and they are dead cute, as you can see. It may be the fact that uh, he has fixed these two birds because we've got so many animals. Right. Right, guys. So now we've got some land-based creatures. We have got a new Mexican mole lizard. I have never seen a Mexican mole lizard in my life. But that is a Mexican mole lizard. So I take it it goes underground. I'm not so sure. I have never seen one. Interesting. Does it go? Oh, don't tell me it goes in the water. Let's have... No. No, doesn't go in the water. And they're not dying yet, anyway. Right, Mexican mole lizards. Next up, a black-bellied whistling duck. Hey, right, really? Now, well, that does go in the river. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my God, look at them swim. Oh. Hee, <laughs> hee, hee. That is cute, I've got to say. Wow. American tree snake. Oh, so, oh, wow. I like that with the little head that stows up. That is cute. A tree snake. Does it actually go in on the tree? That's interesting if it did. No, I think it probably just lives in the trees. But very cute. A vine snake. Oh, Look at them. Oh, I love the little tongues. Oh, look at that. Oh, and they all move. I must admit, this mod has come on so much. It is absolutely brilliant. Uh, horned lizard. Ooh, let's have a look. Horned lizard. Oh, yes. Look at the... It is a horned lizard, all right. Oh, there's different ones. There we go. <clears throat> Two different ones. Excellent. 
And a king snake. Let's go up here to put the king snake out. Oh, it's a big snake. Oh my god. Oh, it's killing the others. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's go over here. So how many different ones have we got? We've got a striped one and a black one, I think. Lighting, light and dark. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. Beautiful. Just adds oh, it just adds that context to your deserts. It does. It's really cool. Right, guys. So now we have some cave creatures. There are a number of cave creatures. When we come to the cave creatures, he has put in some cave fish chambers, which I can't find. Uh, and they are for the salamanders, the devil hole pup fishes, the short fin cave mollies, Texas blind cat. And they spawn in savannas, rivers, deserts, and biomes. But I haven't been able to find any. So anyway, let's have a look at these. This is a such sucker. Ooh. They're nice. And he's also changed the spawn rate. So there's not fixed the spawn rate. So there were too many fish spawning. Right. Uh, so this is the Mickley's Chilids. He's a chill there's a number of chillids. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, yes, there's different ones, guys. There's like a greeny one, a white one, a brown one. So the different varieties. A little spotty one there as well. Yeah. Oh, it's a pinky up pink eyed one as well. So that's it. Looks like there's four. A Cinolonian chillid. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the yellow one. Yeah. Yeah, yellow and green by the looks of it. Is there a brown one there? Oh, no, they're all yellow and green. Very nice, though. A Texas Chilid. Oh, they're nice. Again, two different types of each. And a Nevada Springfish. Oh, look at those. There's two types of those as well. I like the way there's two types of everything. So now I've filled... Filled the river full of fish. Wow. Right, guys. So that's the end of the new creatures. And as I said, this is going to be quite quick fire now. We are going to show all the creatures. There's, 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 there's a lot of creatures that we've showcased in the previous videos. I would go and advise you to go and look at the previous videos. But we're now going to show all the creatures I've previously shown. I may not show all the different uh, types. So let's start and we're just going to go for it, guys. So here's the bobcats. There are a number of bobcats, I know for a start. Bobcats. Uh, Cotamundis. Little Cotamundis. They'll all start eating each other. So you'll find out what happens when they kill each other. A Treops. Oh, that's... Yeah, so we are going to spawn these in even though they will die. Uh, fairy Shrimp. There's the fairy shrimp. Uh, horse nose snake. Oh, horse nose snake. A vine snake, which we saw before. A kangaroo rat. Oh, here we go. They'll all start chasing the kangaroo rats now. A prog horn, which we've already seen. And American badgers, which I've got a number of badgers here. Look, American badgers. There we go. Right, guys, so I know I'm going to show the fish out of water. Alligator gar. At least you can actually see it. I've showcased these in the water before. Beautiful. Uh, Cape spring tailed iguanas. Yep. Yeah. Uh, spiny lizards. Now, I think there's a load of spiny lizards. We see them all here. Different ones. Spiny lizards. <laughs> yeah, spiny lizards. Coyotes, coyotes guys. Let's have a look at some coyotes. Let's bring them down here. Yes, there are different types of coyotes. They're very beautiful. I do like the coyotes. Yes, yes. They'll probably eat the next creature. The Virginia opossums. They'll get chased now. The Virginia opossums. So it just shows you've got to be careful. Yeah, the, the Virginia opossums are getting absolutely eaten to bits, look. But they are so cute. <laughs> Yellow-bellied marmots. <laughs> oh dear, the marmots are getting attacked by the badgers. American beavers. How cute are they? On the uh, beetles, oh, so these are the ironclad beetles. So there are a few little creatures. 
and a velvet ant. Oh, they look like they had an upgrade, but they are pretty. Oh, oh, will the beavers eat the ants? Something eats the ants, I know. Right, what we got next? A eastern coloured lizard. Yes, some beautiful colours here, guys. There we go. Eastern coloured lizards. Gila monster. You saw those at the beginning. Grey four-eyed opossums. Look at these. Oh, they got lovely sounds as well. Uh, ring tails. Beautiful ring tails. Uh, elegant. What is that? Elegant trogon. That's two different colours of those as well. Uh, and a eared quats. Oh, here we go. Quatzel. Eared quatzel. I love the way they don't fly very high, so it'd be ideal in the jungle. Gila chub. Oh, it's a fish. Gila chub. A jurangi. Oh, it's like a cat. Now, I do not remember that at all. Is that like a jurangi? Wow. Uh, Mexican tail bat. That's a different one to the other bat we showed earlier. Right, guys, so let's do the next batch. These are the next 27. We've done 27 down. Right. Great Kissity. Oh, wow. A Essantia. Oh, it's like a lizard. Yeah, different colours there. A painted bunting. Oh, he definitely painted like the rainbow. Fanopelia. That's another little birdie. Cardinal. That's a cardinal. A desert cardinal. They're quite fast, aren't they? Cactus wrens. Oh, we got wrens in the UK. A curved build frasher. A red faced warbler. And a California scrub jay. Oh, they're nice. Look at them. Right, next up we have a stellar jay. A pinion jay. And a green jay. Oh, they're different sounding, aren't they? And a black-throated magpie. A ground squirrel. Californian ground squirrel. Hee <laughs> hee, they're cute. Oh, a pack rat. Oh, look at the little ears. Oh, Black-tailed prairie dogs. Wow. Grey foxes. Oh, one of my favourite creatures of the mod. The grey fox. We all like grey foxes. They are so cute. A Texas salamander. Right, these go in the water, guys, but we don't... Do oh, there's the other coloured one there. There's like two different coloured ones. Right, next up we have the Nelson's antelope, which is not a great big antelope. It's just a little thing with a bobbin tail, which is cute. A black-footed ferret. Wow. Oh, they're eating the little ones. Short fin molly. Oh, there's one of the little fishes for the caves. Long-tailed weasel. Wow. Oh, they're off. They're off. They're attacking. Montezuma quails. Oh, yes. Look at these. I think they're going to get eaten. Yeah, they are. A house finches. We have finches in the UK. Not bright red like that, like. A cedar waxwing. Oh, wow. Look how many animals we've got. Olive sparrow. We have sparrows, guys. Different types of sparrows. House sparrows and tree sparrows are hedge sparrows. And a goose beak. Oh, look at that. So the last two now, guys. We have a wide or wide mouth blind catfish. And they do swim. They do swim. Oh, my God. The ducks are still here. Look, see. Little catfish do swim. And a mouse opossum. Now, we did say about the different types of opossum. There were a couple of colours. I can't remember how many. But there we go. Oh, look at that hiding there. 
So it's an absolute wonderful mod. If you're playing Minecraft 1.16.5 and want uh, animal mods, this is actually a brilliant mod to go with any of the other mods. It is just so good. There are so many creatures. And as you can see, lots of interactions. Oh my God. Yeah, this is one of my favorite. Lots of birds, lots of life within your deserts and savannas and plains. So I hope you've enjoyed that long video. If you're still with me, guys and girls, slap that like button for me. It does help. Uh, I have enjoyed so much Sonorama. This uh, mod is also compatible with Red Cooper's other mods. Uh, there's, there's, uh, which I haven't showcased yet, which he's updating. Uh, there's another mod, a decor craft mod, which I'll showcase separately. He's doing a bit of work on it. Uh, but this deco craft comes with specific biomes and well. So what I might do is literally create a new world with Sonorama and uh, deco craft, uh, and we'll see how it works. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon for more animals and dinosaur mods and, 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 oh, dinosaur mods and uh, add-ons. Bye-bye.